the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 takes over from the identical X1 Extreme model as a powerful content creator mobile workstation, available with consumer GeForce GPUs and professional graphics options up to NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA, new 45W Raptor Lake H-series processors, and several display options. Are the top components enough to justify the high price tag? Let's find out. The P1 Gen 6 keeps the same design as the Gen 5 I reviewed last year, which is not a bad thing. The display lid has a carbon fibre pattern weave design, exclusive to the 4K models. On the inside, the chassis has a rubberized feel with anti-smudge coating to reduce fingerprints down to a minimum. There's a combination of carbon fibre magnesium material on top and aluminium for the bottom of the P1 along with recycled plastics and metal to do our bit for the planet, starting at 1.78 kilograms or 3.92 pounds for the heavier touchscreen model we are reviewing. It's not a laptop to hold around with one hand. Military standard 810H tested. Everything feels solid on the keyboard deck with no flex. The display lid does have a bit of flexing when pressed hard, but the carbon fiber magnesium combination is sturdy. There's a large bottom vent to feed the jeweled fans connected to the vapor chamber cooling. Vents along the top of the keyboard blow the hot air out to keep the components cool. Take off the seven screws to pry open the bottom maintenance cover. There are two DDR5 sodium slots dual channel capable, up to 96 gigabytes with two 48 gigabyte modules. Tip, this review model has a single 32 gigabyte module. Go for the dual channel two times 16 modules to eke out more performance. Depending on your GPU configuration, you can either have two M.2 slots, models with NVIDIA RTX A1000 or 2000 ADA, or just a single M.2 SSD slot for the higher end GPUs to accommodate the vapor chamber cooling heat pipes. The 90 watt hour battery is removable, but the wireless card is soldered on. For selected models, there is a WAN slot for the 4G card. This review model has a 16 inch WQU XGA 3840 by 2400 OLED touchscreen, anti-reflection, anti-smudge, 60 hertz display panel. The 10-point multi-touch touchscreen is silky smooth in use, extremely responsive with your fingers for navigation and even retouching work on Photoshop. Talking of which, the panel is rated at 100% DCI P3, display HDR 400, Dolby Vision and TUV low blue light, perfect for content creators and graphics designers. Text is sharp and clear, viewing angles are excellent, Colours are vivid with a wide colour spectrum thanks to the x rite factory colour calibrated OLED display panel. Brightness is rated at 400 nits, suitable for most conditions, indoor and outdoors in the shade. The thin glass coated touchscreen does still have some reflection if you have strong indoor lighting or working near a sunny window. Tip, go for the optional IPS display with 500 nits brightness and a refresh rate of 165Hz if you don't need 100% DCI P3 extended color space. On the left, we have a power connector, two Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 40 gigabits per second supporting data transfer, power delivery 3, and DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.1 up to 8K 60 Hz, and a headphone microphone combo jack. On the right, we have a Kensington Nano security slot, two USB Type A 3.2 Gen 1 port, one with always on, and SD Express 7.0 card reader. The wireless card inside is the Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 AX 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.1. Wi-Fi connectivity was reliable over a couple of rooms or between floors. Bluetooth was excellent connected to a mouse or external speaker. The P1 keyboard has a nicely spaced out design layout with concave keys to hug your fingertips. Along with the 1.5mm key travel, the keyboard provides a very good typing action. Comfortable to type on for long hours with two level white backlighting if you burn the midnight oil on the P1. There's no numeric keypad, so that could be a deal breaker for some. There's some dedicated shortcut keys with F10 and F11 for Microsoft Teams calls. F12 is a custom key allowing you to open a website, file or application through the Vantage app. 
The touchpad gives an ultra smooth glide action with your fingers. Accuracy is excellent when in use. The integrated buttons when depressed are virtually silent. If only all ThinkPad touchpads were this high quality. Dimensions are okay to accommodate the track point and dedicated mouse buttons for it. These work well along with the track point nib with decent control of the pointer when used in tight situations like a train journey. The 2 watt stereo speakers are optimised with Dolby Atmos. Located either side of the keyboard, audio quality is above average at best. Voice quality is excellent and clear. However, music playback is lacking warmth. Background instruments sound muted and bass is completely lacking. The only positive thing is the volume can be very loud at 86 decibels. Here are some audio samples. The 5 megapixel webcam comes with IR hybrid and human presence detection sensors. Video quality is generally passable with video meetings. The Lenovo Video Enhancer app does a good job boosting the quality of the colours and enhancing the facial features. The two microphones pick up audio well in virtual meetings. This review model has an Intel Core i7-13800H with 14 cores, 6 performance cores from 2.5 to 5.2 GHz and 8 efficient ones from 1.8 to 4 gigahertz, 20 threads with a TDP rating of 45 watts base power up to 60 watts. Lenovo have three CPU options to choose from. Below the i7-13800H is the i7-13700H and above is the i9-13900H. Along with one stick of 32GB DDR5-5600 memory, 1TB of SSD M.2 2280 PCIe 4x4 fast storage and complemented by the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU, the P1 Gen 6 flies through most work tasks with ease, whether it's finding a piece of Python code on chat GPT, working on a 3D drawing with AutoCAD, or designing an animation with Blender. For our benchmark test, we set Extreme Performance Mode in Windows and plugged the laptop into the mains during testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score of 10,052, CPU score of 11,878, and a graphic score of 9,787. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overall came in at 4,760, graphic score 4,651, and CPU score 5,490. 3D Mark Port Royal scored 5,660. 3D Mark Speedway scored 2,472. Superposition resulted in a score of 18,682. Geekbench 6 CPU benchmark resulted in a single core score of 2,570 and 12,027 in multi core. The GPU compute benchmark resulted in a score of 96,008. Cinebench 2024 testing produced a score of 950 multi core and 115 single core. The GPU testing produced a score of 9,819. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 7,215. Here is a comparison with the HP ZBook Studio G10 RTX 4070. Using the quick CPU tool plugged in balance mode with video playback, the i7-13800H CPU clock stays between 1.2 to 3 GHz and CPU power on average of 10 watts. Set to high performance plugged in running spec view perth benchmarking, the CPU fluctuates between 2 to 4 GHz, CPU temperature is between 80 Celsius to 94 Celsius, and CPU power is 20 to 55 watts. During heavy CAD work, the chassis hits 41 Celsius or 105.8 Fahrenheit near the top centre of the keyboard. Out of the vents by the display hinge, it peaks at 46 Celsius or 114.8 Fahrenheit. The bottom cover is very warm, exceeding 50 Celsius or 122 Fahrenheit at times. Don't place the P1 on your lap, otherwise your thighs might be roasted. We did notice the Gen 6 was cooler by a few degrees compared to its predecessor, the P1 Gen 5, partly due to a lower cooling load. The twin fans keep quiet during basic usage. When the processor or dedicated graphics is called upon, the fans will suddenly activate at high speed, hitting 41 decibels to a maximum of 48 decibels during heavy workloads. During power efficient mode, the fans reach 40 decibels noise levels. Here's a list of the target audience for the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. Creative pros, digital influencers, animators, product designers, architects and engineers, data scientists, game and VR developers, 
The P1 Gen 6 has an Intel Iris XE integrated graphics and a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU with 8GB of GDDR6 memory in this review model. The RTX 4060 is a consumer level GPU based on the AD107 chip and uses the Ada Lovelace architecture offering 3000 72 shaders and 80 tensor cores. TGP starts at 35 watts and tops out at 80 watts. The 4060's twin sibling is the RTX 2000 ADA, aimed at professional use rather than gaming and or content creation work. TGP is limited to 35 watts for this GPU. In general benchmark scores, the RTX 4060 sits below the RTX 3070 Ti and above the NVIDIA RTX 3070 laptop GPU. Here is a list of the GPU options available for the P1 Gen 6 up to NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA generation laptop GPU and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 laptop GPU. No surprise with the hardware specs on this review model, most current games will play at 1440p and max settings with the RTX 4060 GPU. Let's take a look at some gaming samples from the RTX 4060. Inside is an integrated 4 cell 90 watt hour battery. No surprise battery life is not going to be brilliant on the P1 Gen 6 with its high end components. In balance mode, full brightness, general office use, the battery lasted just over 3 hours. With the brightness dialed down to 50%, balance mode, running CAD work, we managed to squeeze 4 hours of battery life. Under best performance, 60% brightness running CAD work, we managed 1 hour 30 minutes of battery life. The P1 Gen 6 comes with a 230 watt slim tip power adapter. 30 minute fast charging gives you additional 44% battery life. The P1 Gen 6 has a wealth of security features to keep your data secure. On the hardware front, there's the usual Kensington Nano security slot, fingerprint sensor integrated into the power button, a camera privacy shutter, discrete TPM 2.0 security encryption chip, IR camera for Windows Hello authentication, ultrasonic human presence detection for IR camera and bottom cover tamper detection. The good, the bad and the really bad. Gorgeous OLED. The OLED display panel is truly stunning feasting your eyes on the colour accurate screen with deep lags and high contrast ratio. No surprise it's factory calibrated for professional work, performance king. The P1 flies through workflows with ease thanks to the i7-13800H, DDR5 memory, PCIe 4x4 SSD and the RTX 4060. If this isn't enough, you can spec up to NVIDIA RTX 5000 ADA or GeForce RTX 4090 GPUs and the Intel i9-13900H processor, built quality. The P1 Gen 6 is supremely built. Everything feels well put together and has that nice rubber-like tactile feel to the chassis and carbon fibre design lid. Poor speakers. Some will argue that speakers are not important in a mobile workstation, but as this is also aimed at content creators, why are the speakers not up to its price tag? The Apple MacBook Pro and the HP ZBook Studio can do it. No Ethernet. When you're transferring large drawing files across the network, it would have been practical to plug in an Ethernet connection. Not everyone wants to carry an adapter or USB docking station around. Weak battery life. The processor, mainly the OLED touch display panel, eats heavily into the display life of the P1. If you need to use the P1 on the road, go for the quad 165Hz display panel to eke out more battery life. 
expensive. The P1 Gen 6 starts from £2,117 plus taxes in the UK, all the way up to $5,000 or $5,000 for the RTX 4090 model. Very much a niche model competing with a select few out there. So if you're considering a premium mobile workstation, what are the alternatives out there? In no particular order, here's a list to consider. HP ZBook Studio G10. Dell Precision 7680. Apple MacBook Pro 16. Razer Blade 16 2023. MSI Creator Pro Z16 HX Studio B13V. Dell XPS 17. Asus ProArt Studio Book 16 OLED. H7604. The ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 carries over all the strengths from its predecessor. Top performance, premium built quality, plethora of ports, excellent keyboard and touchpad options. There are plenty of CPU, GPU and upgrade options to please most power users. The OLED touchscreen display panel is awesome but battery life takes a hit. This is still a weak point with the P1. Ironically with its slim design, the P1 is better suited to people who plug in the laptop all the time rather than travelling with it. Plus while we're on the subject, where's the 5G WAN module? I still have a tiny gripe with the dual speakers. For expensive creator workstation, four to six speakers would be expected. Even with vapor chamber cooling on the higher GPU models, the chassis still gets hot at times. The fans do spin up fast, but the noise isn't offensive in my opinion. The major flaw with the P1 Gen 6 is still its sky-high price tag. On one hand, even the stingy base model starts at over £2,000 or $2,525. But on the other hand, it's competing with similarly priced laptops like the Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch M3 Pro, starting from £3,000 or $3,787. If you want a top-tier Windows version of the MacBook Pro and can look past the meddling battery life, the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 is one of the best ultra mobile workstations you can buy. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.